this into a tractor rap too. It's a snapple top, back is that true? I'm a Mac and I'm from the Apple way. Keep going like don't stop. I'm top shelf, price shelf, stop. You know what? You know I'm about to write these wrongs. And I ain't got to write no lie. We gon' let your hype go by. I'm iffy about this. Not bad, but I wish the pastrami was heated. The sandwich is a little bit more hot. The bread is uh, toasted and like a panini crust. More coleslaw than it is meat. I'm gonna just try the meatballs. Very few places I can find that have actual 100% beef meatballs. They got Angus beef meatballs. But they're closed Sunday and Monday. So I got here, they wasn't ready yet. But I'll come back, try that. And like I said, they're known for their bread. I don't know. Mm. I also got chicken salad on a holy roll. They said they make their own holy rolls. Chicken salad was pretty good. I tried it before I got the sandwich. They didn't cut it, so. The sandwich is pretty sloppy as you can see. The bread is fresh, but you can tell it's, it's pretty thick. It's not airy, but it's fresh. Chicken salad is pretty good. I'm here at Harper's Sandwich Shop in Middletown, Delaware. They got cheesesteaks, hoagies, Rubens, meatballs, soup. It's a sandwich shop. But they claim the fame is that they make their own bread in-house. Um, I don't know. give it a thumbs down to be honest with you I don't think it's good okay mediocre your best <clears throat> so yeah you just checked out that review thank you for watching um I'm leaving Harper's sandwich shop in Middletown Delaware I got a Reuben that's what you've seen it was pastrami uh Swiss cheese coleslaw thousand dollar dressing the pastrami wasn't cooked 
Um, the sandwich was pressed, but the pastrami wasn't cooked. I got a chicken salad on a hoagie. Um, they claim the fame was, is that they make their own bread. That's what it is. Um, <clears throat> it was hard for you to hear because I was outside eating. So I made this little, I'm going to put this extension on the video. And uh, you can check out the food or whatever. I'll probably mute, mute the food part of it. And you can check that out. But I'm going to give it a thumbs down. And that's what I said in the video. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, it's a good concept. It is not uh, bad, but it's not my, to my liking. It's not something that I would go back and eat again. It's not something that I would actually recommend. The hoagie rolls that they make in-house, uh, the difference in the hoagie roll that you would get in Philly, um, it's not as heavy. The hoagie roll they have is pretty heavy. It's, very, it's like bread. It's fresh, but it's like a heavy roll and you're getting to chewing a lot of bread with the meat. There's just too much going on there. Plus, the sandwich was too sloppy. The presentation of it was like they just threw it together. Um, also, with the Reuben, it was supposed to be rye bread, pumpernickel rye, I believe the bread was. Um, I mean, it was all right. It wasn't worth what I paid. It's $7.50, $14 for two sandwiches. Not bad prices for lunch, to be honest with you. I mean, you had a drink and some chips, you had less than probably 20 bucks for lunch. Two people, $10 a piece. That's not bad. But their concept and what they're trying to bring is the bread. That's what I was there for because they said homemade bread made fresh daily. Um... The chicken salad was good when I tasted it just by the, itself because he does put celery in it, a little bit of seasoning. That was good. But then when I got it on the, the hoagie, it was like sparse. It wasn't packed with chicken salad. Um, and then the bread, the hoagie roll itself is just too thick. So you'll get full eating the bread. It's a good piece of bread that, like, I would use that kind of bread to dip in soup or something like that, but not to make sandwiches out of it. It's too thick. But yeah, that, that's my squirrel and that's what it is. I give it a thumbs down. I wouldn't recommend it. I mean, hey, let's continue, continue on this journey. Keep eating throughout Maryland, throughout Delaware, throughout Philly. You know what I mean? Let me know, comment, share, hit that subscribe button. Drop a comment below and let me know what's going on. Let me know some places that you think that's pretty good. Let me know what their best product is or what they're known for. Drop that in the comments below. I need help. I need you to help me to find these places. And we're going to get there. But if you want to be a patron, check out patreon.com backslash phillyjohn. That will help us too. We got three different levels that you can join and subscribe and help us. Also, phillyjohnmerch.com, all the merchandise that I have actually helps me do the food reviews. So if you buy a piece of merchandise, one of the hats, one of the shirts, sweatshirts or something like that, it helps me out with these reviews if you like what you're watching. Also, we have a podcast, the Fully Joint Podcast.net. Check that out. There's some old episodes on there. And um, <clears throat> we'll get into putting some new episodes up. Also, the Facebook group is the Philly Joint Podcast on Facebook. Check that out. Or just check out the Philly Joint page on Facebook. Instagram is one Philly Joint. And yeah, I got that TikTok for you funny videos, just being a little bit funny, at D J-A-W-N Dijon, D John D John D J-A-W-N at TikTok, so if you're on TikTok, follow me like my videos, add me, let me know what yours is and I'll like yours and comment or whatever but yeah, we're trying to push all social media platforms trying to push these videos out trying to get great conversation and hopefully I'll see you on this journey around somewhere but carry on people
Where I'm hanging